Hello everyone, welcome back to the Syntax UK YouTube channel. My name is Matt and today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to connect MADI devices. This video is sort of an extension to our recent Syntax Explains episode where we discussed MADI. If you haven't already, make sure you go back and check that out. And I'm going to be splitting this video into three parts. The first is going to show you how to connect two MADI devices together. In the second part, I'll be showing you how to connect three or more MADI devices. And then finally, we'll go into some troubleshooting tips for your MADI connections. So let's start with our two device setup here. I've got the Fireface UFX3 and the Ferrofish A32 Pro Dante. Before we get started, it's always worth just checking that the IO is compatible between your devices, especially as MADI has some variations in terms of connections. So the Fireface UFX3 has MADI optical with SC connectors, as well as coaxial MADI with BNC connectors. And the Ferrofish A32 Pro comes as standard with an LC MADI SFP. So all I need is one SC to LC optical cable. And that looks a little bit like this. So we have the SC connection and on the other side we have the LC connection. And it's as simple as connecting the SC connector to the UFX3 and then the LC connector to the SFP on the A32 Pro. That's it in terms of cabling. Now that we've connected the two devices, we now need to set the clock. And this allows both devices to remain in sync with one another. For this, we need to set a clock master. In this case, it will be the UFX3. And this means that the A32 Pro will be clocked to the UFX3. For this, we're gonna to go to the Fireface settings panel. And you can see here, in the input status that it's switching between lock and sync and that shows that there's there's no sync between the devices so we're just going to make sure that it says internal when it comes to the clock source and then from here we'll just go to the front panel of the a32 pro we'll choose clock and then we'll change from internal to maddie and that's it these devices are now synced together and you can see this in the MADI input status under optical MADI it shows sync for this part of the tutorial we're going to look at connecting three or more devices using a technique called daisy chaining and daisy chaining allows you to take advantage of the full 64 channel MADI stream by connecting devices from one to the other and so on when it comes to creating a daisy chain configuration like this, it's always worth just taking your time to make sure that you go from output to input and so on. So now we're finished connecting our devices in this daisy chain configuration, I'm gonna load them back up into the rack, connect them up, and then we'll go through the clocking and sync part of the tutorial again. So we have our three devices connected together here, and just as with the previous part, I'm now going to make sure that all three devices are correctly synced together. So for this, again, we're gonna use the UFX3 as the clock master and then sync all of the other devices to that. So again, I'm gonna to go to the Fireface settings panel and I'm just gonna make sure that clock source is set to internal. From here, we're gonna to go to the M1620 Pro. I'm just gonna to go to the clock section, choose set clock source, choose sync to external. And then from here, we'll just change the preferred clock source to MADI optical. So that one's now complete. And again, I just need to go to the A32 Pro. I just need to choose the clock source, choose MADI. And that's it, all three devices are now synced together. And you can verify this again in the Fireface settings panel. Here's three things that you can check when troubleshooting your MADI connection. First thing to do is check the cables and connections. MADI signals are bi-directional, so it's important to make sure that you're sending the output from one device into the input of the next device and vice versa. So always make sure that you take your time to ensure that this is happening. The next thing you can do is check the clock sync. Most devices have status lights or indicators to let you know that there is a sync between devices. On RME devices, for example, you have an indicator somewhere on the front panel, whether that's on the display or as an LED, but you can also check the MADIFACE settings app on your computer. In MADIFACE settings, you'll want to see sync displayed, and that means that everything is working correctly. Lock or no lock indicates that you have a problem. 
If you're still having problems with sync, then you can perform a simple loopback test. Connect a MADI cable from the device's output to its input and then set the clock source to internal. If there's still no sync, then the problem likely lies with the cable or connector. That's it for this quick tutorial showing you how to connect up MADI devices. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please do make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel to see all of our future content. And please do let us know in the comment section below if there's anything that you would like to see in future episodes of Syntax Explains as well. Thanks very much guys and I'll see you again next time.